Hello, people of the world. It's your sporty king, JP Lloyd Arcangel, and our topic for today's podcast is all about volleyball and softball. Who among you had played these two sports? I know some of you did. So, volleyball was invented in 1895 by William G. Morgan, physical director of Young Men's Christian Association or YMCA in Holyoke, Massachusetts. It was designed as an indoor sport for businessmen who found the new game of basketball too vigorous. Volleyball was called Mintonet because of its similarity with badminton. However, Alfred Halstead later renamed it to volleyball because the objective of the game was to volley the ball back and forth over a net. So, the history of volleyball in the Philippines dates back to 1910. It was introduced to Filipinos by an American named Elwood S. Brown, the physical director of the Young Men's Christian Association or YMCA. It became a popular game held in backyards and at beaches in the islands. At first, the Filipinos invented their own rules for the game. U.S. soldiers who were assigned to the different islands of the Philippines during the period also helped in the widespread introduction of volleyball to the Filipinos. These American military servicemen encouraged the Filipinos to join them in playing during their time off from military duties. Early in the history of the game of volleyball in the Philippines, the Filipinos used trees as makeshift net holders. Volleyball teams still exceed the expectation of the mass. A lot of teams still perform flawlessly to compete, dominate the league in the Philippines such as PVL, University Leagues, and etc. Some notable players in the Philippine volleyball teams are Alisa Valdez, Ara Galang, Aiza Maizo Pontillas, Angeli Tabaquero, Dindin Santiago Manabat, and a lot more. Volleyball still dominate the interest of Philippine fans around the country. Aside from the excitement and thrill that it brings to the people, it also surely promotes love, passion, and great sportsmanship. It is a sport that reflects cooperation and perseverance, a sport that must prolong forever. In the other hand, there is a beautiful sport called softball. So, Softball began in 1887 when George Hancock, a reporter for Chicago Board of Trade, invented indoor baseball. By the spring of 1888, the game had spread outdoors. It was originally called either mash ball, kitten ball, or indoor baseball. But by the 1920s, it had acquired the name of softball. The first softball was a boxing glove tied up in its laces, the bat, and a stick. The inventors were board Ivy Leaguers, Harvard and Yale alumni at the Faragot Boat Club gym created the game on Thanksgiving Day while waiting for the results of the annual Harvard-Yale football game. In 1898, American colonizers introduced the sport as part of revisions they made to the official Philippine school system. Although the Americans also attempted to teach baseball, basketball was the sport that took off. And just 15 years later, the Philippines won gold in the 1913 Far Eastern Games. The most dominant Philippine team in the SEA Games are the Blue Girls, our national women's softball team. They have won the gold medal in each of the nine SEA Games where there has been a women's softball tournament. Some of the notable players in softball are Arian Ballestero, Rizel Calumbres, Haley Decker, Kaylee Cueco, and a lot more. Though softball is not a mainstream sport in the Philippines, it has grown drastically, and children who excel at the sport have additional opportunities for education within the country. The government, especially the educational sector, must focus on this type of sport, which is left behind in order to build a massive interest in the generations to come and eventually build up this sport. That's all for today's podcast. Thank you everyone.